Skateboarding was born sometime in the early 1950s when surfers in California wanted something to surf when the waves were flat. No one knows who made the first skateboard, but it seems that several people came up with the same ideas at around the same time. These first skateboarders started with wooden boxes or boards with roller skate wheels attached to the bottom. The boxes turned into planks and eventually companies were producing decks with pressed layers of wood, similar to the skate decks of today. During this time, skateboarding was seen as something to do for fun besides surfing, and was therefore often referred to as sidewalk surfing. Street Skateboarding It's a style in which a skateboard overcomes obstacles on a paved surface such as streets or in schools and malls. Other challenges include using stairs, curbs, ledges, and handrails. Okay. Vert Vert skating is a term used to refer to riding a skateboard on a vert ramp that is a larger version of the half pipe. Many people use vert ramps and trick skateboarding as well as vert skateboarding. Skaters on vertical ramps often perform lip tricks, grab tricks, and other types of tricks on a vert ramp, some of which wouldn't be possible without a vert ramp. Freestyle skateboarding, perhaps the oldest style of skateboarding, is a type of skating that was popular intermediately from the 1960s until the early 1990s. The emphasis in freestyle is technical flat ground skateboarding. Often a freestyler will need a little more than a board and a smooth flat surface. Music and choreography have always been an essential part of the professional freestyle routine. Freestyle in the 1950s was a direct result of surfing or the lack of it. Let me ask you, what inspires you to skate? Um, when I see my friends do like big stair sets, that gets me pumped, and I want to do big stair sets, and I like hanging out with my friends, you know? I don't get to see them that much, because we all moved apart, but like when we skate, we all get together, and do some cool tricks and stuff. Probably it. Do you look up to any skaters for encouragement to keep going? Uh, I watch a lot of Andrew Randall's skate videos. He does huge frontside flips over stuff. And I can't do that, but it does pump me up to do some big skate sets. What do you find most difficult about skating? Um, besides learning tricks, when you go to like a, a nice stair set and you're like, yes, let me get some tricks go to it, you try it a few times, you think you're going to land it, and then some guy comes, you got to go, you can't be here. I think that's the most uh, difficult part of ball skating. What are your thoughts about skateboarding? Well, from a biker's point of view, uh, personally, skate, I've rode with a lot of skateboarders, and I feel it's a whole different culture. You know, there's a lot of different things can, that can be achieved through skateboarding, and it's definitely different than biking, and I uh, feel there's good ways so, from skateboarding. Pretty good. Would you consider skateboarding a professional sport for the X Games? Uh, yeah, I would because I've uh, personally tried to skateboard and I realize there's a lot of effort, you know, and enthusiasm has to go into it. And it takes time to learn the tricks, and I feel it's a very worthy sport of uh, X Games. Skating is considered a vandalism to many properties. What is your opinion on this? I feel skateboards do definitely cause some damage to property. That's why I feel that they should get the skateboarders should go to uh, skate parks where they're permitted to be and will not cause damage to the property. Do you think no skating signs should be taken down? Uh, no, they should be kept up to keep the skaters aware of where they can and cannot skate. That's why they have created skate parks for the skateboarders to skate, which they are clearly allowed to, and they won't destroy property of a business or whatever it may be. Do you think skaters should be fined for skating in public areas? In ways, yes.
because they know it's illegal and they are going to be going around the law. And but in ways, people do take it too far and too extreme, where they want to press charges and take them to court and stuff like that. It should be not dealt with in such a such a manner. That way, it should be less less punishable. Skateboarding isn't just a sport, it's an art. Skating isn't about doing drugs or destroying private property like the media perceives it as. It's about fun. It's about expressing yourself. Total freedom. Not many people understand or will ever understand what it feels like to ride a skateboard. What's the difference between a kid walking down the street with a skateboard and a kid walking down the street with a football? Nothing. Nothing at all. They are just expressing themselves for who they are. So next time you see a skater, don't avoid them or look down upon them. Let them prove that they are just like you and me.